Hello, beautiful soul. I am so excited today to interview a beautiful woman who has had incredible results, uh, us working together and inside crystallize your vision. Hi, everybody. I'm Colleen Linnea, your spiritual intuitive channel guide and a reset your vibe energy coach and breathwork facilitator who is the creator of crystallize your vision. Let's get started. I'm just really uh, so moved by Christine. I'm going to let her introduce herself, but so moved by the journey that she has progressed through to create massive transformation in her world and a few surprises. So let's meet Christine. Hi, Christine. How are you doing? Beautiful. I'm good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Excited to be here with you today. And I really appreciate you for taking this opportunity to share your uh your your wins, your heart, your joys, your your challenges. <laughs> so thanks for this. Let's uh tell us a little bit about yourself, Christine. Well, to start with, I have all of those wins, challenges, struggles, um, and and lots of surprises. So, and I have you in your program to thank for that. So my name's Christine. Um I I, I don't even know where to start other than um, I think that I found you, Colleen, on TikTok of all things and um, saw one of your visit videos that really spoke to me, uh, primarily because I recognized your location as being the top of the Suwamish Chief, which um, I also lived in Suwamish at the time and uh, way, way up above at night, there you were making an inspirational video. And I thought, are you kidding me? Is she up there? <laughs> um, and I messaged, or, or I think I just commented on your video that I, I couldn't believe what you were doing. And it was, it was just, anyway, from there and on, it was, uh, I got to know you better and um, you approached me with your program and it was divine timing, <laughs> it really was. Did we say it was at night as well when we, uh, hey. yeah, and uh, I will say that Christine later on went and uh, did this particular hike <laughs> she always had on her heart. But tell us um, what inspired you to join Crystallize Your Vision and work together, you and me. Uh, what was your greatest challenge at the time that spoke to your heart? Well, I had, a, I had many of them at the time. Um, so I had fallen sick, but over a very long period of time, had a big surgery. I had a double lung transplant in 2021. And I think I met you um, about 18 months after, maybe 15 months, something like that. Anyways, um, after my transplant, and that was a big, huge, huge uh, physical struggle. Um, but also mental and a spiritual struggle because I'd lost, um, I didn't lose, um, my husband and I split up just four weeks before transplant. And I had three kids and although they were growing, my life was suddenly incredibly different. Um, and I mean, really, if you call that a tower moment, I felt like I lost everything, yeah. including myself including yourself you said mm -hmm. yeah yeah so tell us about that when you lost you know that including yourself that was really the heart of things so what was the biggest change you were wanting to make being that the tower had fallen and you were kind of probably feeling at the bottom I remember I was um I, I wanted to find a way out and out to what I didn't know um my former life was no longer. Um, I felt lost. Mm -hmm. uh, I had also had a big job um, before my transplant, and mm -hmm. I didn't have that anymore. Um, my girls were grown and leaving the house, so it was a real um, transition moment of just feeling stripped away of everything, um, mm -hmm. and and wanting more but not knowing how to get there mm, wanting more and what was more do you, do you have an idea what more was absolutely peace happiness fulfillment 
um, purpose, mm. um, joy again, love again, all mm. of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to be healthy. What's that love? And to be healthy. Ah, yeah, especially <laughs> after a double lung transplant for sure. Yeah, yeah. You've been through you've been through the ringer. That's a, a clear. So how would you say uh, the program and working uh, with me inside Crystallize Your Vision, you know, positively impacted you? You know, can you describe a tangible result or two that you achieved? Oh, there's been so much. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is that I've learned to trust myself. Mm -hmm. um, even bigger than that, Colleen, is I've learned to listen to myself. Oh, wow. I was one of those people, you know, when something big happened, yeah. uh, something that shakes you, I, I would um, call my family, call my friends, and this happened, and, you know, what should I do? And those answers aren't out there. Yeah. They're inside. Yeah. Um, and you and your program taught me how to do that, how to find them, the ones well, that are yeah, oh, I was just going to say, especially if in the past, some of the people you reached out to are no longer present in your life. No. They're no longer either emotionally available or physically in your life or whatnot, you know? That's right. So that's the biggest thing, listening to myself, trusting myself, knowing that I can handle anything mm. um, and that things, this was a big one as well, that okay. things are happening for me, not to me. That's a big one. Things are, did you say the word happening? Is that what you said? Happening for me. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Oh, huge, isn't it? When that actually, um, we can hear those words. I'm sure many listeners have heard those words over and over again, but listening and hearing them and reading them is one thing, but integrating them at the, at the core cellular level. Once we work through um, the relinquishing of the pain and trauma and you know, our limiting beliefs, but also those myths where we believe that we're deserving of that kind of treatment or, you know, that type of thing. But um, yeah, I was going to say, so reading it and knowing it, you know, I've read so many things where I would like read something, go, oh, I get it, but you don't get it until you get it to your ground. Yeah. Good no. work. And yeah. some people really need a good knock on the head. And I was one of those. <laughs> I heard that actually just I, I posted a, a post out there I think you actually commented on it in Facebook and it was just like what advice would you give to someone who's spiritually struggling and one of the um, friends followers he said uh, I'm a good uh, zen slap in the hay a slap in the face <laughs> something like that. so true yes. hey, you know what you said just reminded me of that so well beautiful so things are happening for me yeah, mm -hmm. not to me. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Christine. Thank you. And for all your work that you put into it. What did you love most about the program? Uh, I think, honestly, the connection with the other ladies in the group and mm -hmm. you. Um, it, it's amazing. I mean, we are all connected. Yeah. Uh, and we learn from one another. And so, you know, the sharing experience with inside that group is incredible. It's incredibly safe. Um, you know, it's some people um, are able to talk about these things with their family and friends. Not everybody is, um, or or maybe not everybody is yet, um, depending on where they're at. Um, but it's yeah. it's it's pretty incredible. The support is incredible and you learn so much through others experience. Mm. Mm -hmm. So true, isn't it? So true. And I've, I've seen you on our coaching calls where some of the revelations will kind of like hit you, uh, like you say, through the learning. So then when, you know, you're receiving and hearing and supporting another person, then the aha for you, your own aha about your own situation drops in and you're like, I've seen your eyes, like the light just goes on. It's like, yeah, wow. So group connection is, is totally cool. Um, Christine, oh, sorry, love. No, I agree hundred percent. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Brought us together as well. It's two, two 
you know, the wonderful thing about the um, reason I'm interviewing Christine is not only because of her incredible wins inside the program, but my love for her. And also sometimes we get a little beautiful gift out of all, all of the humans I've worked with over 25, 20, actually, no, 20, good 23 years professionally anyways, um, is every once in a while you, you create a really good friendship. And I'm happy to say that. I happen to have done this with this beautiful woman. So it's lovely to continue to be a mentor and a coach to you and a guide, but also a dear friend and also the wisdom that has come through you since being in the program, you've been able to uh, reflect back to me, which is very cool, right? This is the shared union. So um, what would you say, Christine, that was the number one most important <laughs> takeaway? Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> Woo! Hey, I got it. I, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'd be, be quiet here. This is your interview, but the cat. Okay. Katie walked by. I'll hold, I'll hold off for just a moment, but I just got a hit for you channel. Okay. Cause I was going to ask you this. What mm -hmm. is the number one most important takeaway that you got from your experience in the program? If you could highlight the top one and you might be repeating yourself. That's okay. No, it's not. It's um, the one that I've resisted the most. Oh, Actually, there's two. So the the top one is expressing myself. Okay. Um, huge for me. Um, it's why I got sick. I know that. I know that oh, now. Yeah. Stuffing it all down, uh, being the good girl, um, staying small and quiet, so mm -hmm. as not to disturb things. You know, yeah. so many have that story. Uh, different details, but the same story, right? Yeah. Um, and then moving my body. I mean, I have a lot of challenges. I now need a kidney transplant because of the medication from the lung transplant. But I feel healthier than I have in 20 years. Easy. Wow. Holy mackerel. Kudos to you, girlfriend. Wow, wow, wow. Because you just identified that you're, you've had a double you guys are just listening to this part of the show here. Christine just identified in the beginning that she's been through a ton of health challenges and double lung transplant. Now she's saying that because of all of the, what she's, her body's gone through, she's, you know, online for kidney. And yet you just said that you're feeling better than you ever have because you've learned to, yeah. Oh, wow. So moving my body and, and loving my body, it sounds like being taken care of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm, okay. Wonderful. Okay. Wow. 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 Um, how about, how do you, do you relate better with people, um, intimate connections with your family, your, um, your daughters, your, um, humans in the world? Like, is there a more, um, empathy, compassion or patience you've been able to extend to yourself and to them? So I'm an empath, so that's never been a problem. <laughs> <laughs> But, but I think what I've gained is the ability to, um, to be more accepting. Mm, yeah. So, you know, I was an empath, I am an empath. Yeah. Um, that's the easy part. There's still all sorts of judgment and yucky stuff that gets in okay. between relationships and it's hard to navigate, but I am so much more well equipped now to handle those things and to just be more accepting of anybody but most importantly to me to my family to my kids yeah um yeah yay i bet they're and you know what happens you guys is when we're emanating that new vibrant frequency within ourselves that more loving acceptance you know, it is um, the work that I've taught for years and help clients go through is when you transform you, right, you're transforming the lineage, not only downline to the younger humans, but upline, even to the ancestors who passed over. I don't know what people's, what your beliefs are, Christine, or whoever's watching, but the work we do on ourselves, right, impacts everybody, everything that's come before us and coming after us. And so that's why our beautiful little babies that are coming in are so uh, magically in tune in a way that, you know, our generation has to go through the more darkness. And uh, but we're thankfully each generation is becoming a little lighter, a little lighter. So there's less, you know, 
a trauma to work through, which is beautiful. So thank you for that. And I'm happy for you. Um, what about uh, clarity, confidence? Um, what about a greater sense of self-worth? You know, in any way you know this to be true for you, has that changed at all, improved? Absolutely. I think um, one of the greatest gifts out of your program is um, an increased self-worth and the ability to love myself. You know, I didn't let myself do that mm. before. Um, and I'm doing it now. It's still a work in progress, for sure. But um, that's been probably my greatest gift. Oh, wow. Okay, so that links right up to that earlier question. Okay, that's actually a really good point here. I love knowing that. I'm just making a note on that one because it's really good. Um, some of these kind of link together, but tell me a little more about how your body feels. Like, do you feel more times, longer extensions of calmer, more peaceful or deeper connection perhaps to life and your purpose? I want to hear about that because when the kitty cat walked by, <laughs> At the time where I was asking you, uh, I was asking you the question, what is your number one most important takeaway from your experience in the program? And I actually have that question kind of bolded because I feel it's an, for me, I feel it's an important uh, hearing what that piece is from you. And then your kitty cat walked by and you have such passion for animals yeah. and for your intuition developing. So not to confuse you, but go back, I was just finding out about how you're feeling in terms of the calmness, the peace, and your connection to life and your purpose. Has any... So the calmness and the peace, um, again, are incredible gifts. Um, and and it's, I'm, I'm living it daily, and I've really never had that before. So that's all new to me, and it's absolutely wonderful. Um, as far as my purpose goes, that's still a work in progress for me. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, but I'm okay with not knowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're on the path. You're on the path. You you going through the the dark uh, life many many years over here, and then you're clear, clear, clear. You're finding your peace. Your de you know your center, and now you're creating that um, container, that foundation, so that that next bit can come in it can't it can't come in when we're you know when we're hurting we can't hear it but now you're learning to hear and listen and experience right. life you're experiencing life more and i'm doing all sorts of new things that i've never done before and finding a lot of joy so that's incredible oh that's beautiful what kind of new things uh was one of them that you are doing that you love that you didn't know about before um well, I knew about it I didn't do it with yoga so that's a big one for me okay yeah um, playing uh badminton that's really fun um yeah. market for a, a kayak just to try that out um so lots of of good healthy things that I'm finding some joy in and not doing them because I have to doing them because I want to okay great yeah. So you're signed up for a kayaking experience. I am. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I think we covered this one. Is your your emotional, physical, and mental health improved? Um, yeah, I think we kind of covered that, right? With this is the difficult change to make or with more ease and grace. Yeah. I, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Tell us a little bit more. The program is designed around learning to navigate the program we're working together is really big on learning to navigate grief, loss, self-doubt, and lean into your spiritual um, abilities or uh, capacities that are expanding and opening as you heal your heart. So tell us just a little bit more about um, how you find it more easier to trust your intuition to guide you in that better decision making when you're in your your life, your health, and um, you know your future purpose. So how how can you um how do you more easily trust your intuition uh well you've given us the tools to be able to know how to do that for one um okay. and the biggest thing for me is just being able to drop into the heart center and to listen mm. listen yeah listen the answers are there there we and, go 
Yeah. So I was, get, I was gonna actually ask for an example. I forgot to mention that. So so it's sort of like when you're do you just drop in there to be open or do you use your intuition in a way that allows you to work through something? Both. Both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So sort of spontaneous guidance, the direction. Mm -hmm. And then also for working through um, a tough spot. And, and the other piece is if I'm really struggling, which I have, um, I reach out to the group, to you. Um, and through that, that help is amazing. And, you know, quite honestly, I'm usually on the verge of a similar answer and afraid to go there for some reason. Yeah. And just connection with other people, with you. Yeah. Uh, it's really, it's really, uh, it's a great, I was going to say collaborative. It's not really collaborative because it does come from me, but, right. uh, but the insights that others have are amazing. So mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm learning to listen to my intuition. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Do. You're, yeah. Learning, you're learning to accept it. I was going to say what's really, really beautiful too, um, is inside the program, we, I grant or we grant lifetime access. Mm -hmm. So when you, which is really cool because Christine may have gone through some of the original content and learned things through the videos and the exercises, but then maybe she's not in that right now, but then she's living her life and she's going, you know, things are okay. Things are okay. And then all of a sudden you're like, like, ah, <laughs> right. You know, something's come up for you and you're, you can very easily come into the program as, as the way I have it standing right now is lifetime access. So you're eligible, you know, to come in and get that support. So just wanted to point that out there, why it's so, so wonderful for everybody here who do join the program. Um, all right, let's see here. What else, what else stands out here? How are you better equipped to recognize and navigate stress, overwhelm, and grief? Like what, can you think of an example? What do you do differently now? I don't panic. <laughs> oh, that's huge. I mean, wow. uh, that is I, huge. I don't panic. Um, I, I think the first thing I tell myself is that everything is going to work out. Everything's working out for me. Um, and if I need a little help, those answers are inside. If yeah. I need a little help, I go to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Peace. A little one here, you know, peace. I'm oh, sorry, we can see my fingers here. Peace begins with me. Yeah. Just that little reminder, peace begins with me. Or it's it's working out for me. Yes. Yes. What I think, oh go ahead. Yeah. I, I was reminded of that one by Mel Robbins. Thank you, Mel, on that one. And uh thank you, Gabby Bernstein on the other. They were just sharing their reminder of like in a way where I think uh Mel Robbins was just hosting something and she invited some people to ask a bunch of questions uh, to, um, to, to share their experience of something that she was, you know, put a post a question to, and it was just like, what if, you know, what if everything was working out for me? And so I, as a coach, I, as a mentor, as a, as a, as a guide, as a channeler, I go through it too, right? Just like Christine's gone through it. And that's why, you know, coaches need coaches and uh, healers need healers and humans need other humans, right? Because yeah. we all need each other in a way, but we all go through it. So, so yeah, that coming back into yourself is what you're saying. So the first things you tell yourself that, um, what if it's going to be all okay? Yeah, exactly. You know? And the other, the other side of it, Colleen is, as you know, um, I am now able to, you know, even if it is a rocky subject or an itchy subject, yeah, it's it's for me, um, and it's okay, um, and I will learn something. I just that I don't know now, yes, um, and I will come out the other end, and I do every time. Yeah. Oh, that is so magical for everybody to remember in those moments since, you know, it's for designed for me. Um, I, I heard this question. I'm actually going to post it to the group or the way it registered to me. And it actually speaks to, you remember how you often say the why your brain says why? Always. Right. Well, what if we turn this why around? I'm going to bring this into the group, actually. 
What if we turn this why question around and say this? Why is or has my future self creating this for me now? So instead of why did this happen? What does this mean? What is this? Why is my future self designing this for me right now? And so we put our attention on that. So there's one for you there. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Your new why is for myself <laughs> too. Uh, how about any results that you were not expecting? Uh, that was a pleasant surprise when you joined the program. That oh, you I think thought of. I think the biggest thing for me is uh, post lung transplant. Um, I have perfectly working lungs. They work really well, but they're unable to take in a large amount of air. Okay. Uh, but once I get that little bit of air, they work perfectly. The okay. doctors don't know why. Okay. Um, and they do say that um, outside of a year, that is where you'll be. It will likely never get more. And they don't know why either. Um, when I came to your program, I also saw you for an in-person energy healing session. And I'm not sure how long that was. Um, I can't recall. Within, um, within two hours, a couple hours. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, I left there for the first time um, being able to take a deep breath since transplant. I'd never been able to take a deep breath. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's incredible. Um, I, I felt elated and, and scared that it would go away um, and kept wondering how long it would last. Well, it did last. It has still lasted. I went uh, back to the lung clinic for pulmonary function testing. Yeah. And suddenly, out of nowhere, I was 20% I had 20% more capacity than I had had all along and they were gobsmacked. So was I, um, <laughs> explain it, but they just said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it with zero explanation. So that's been my biggest telltale sign that it's working. Um, and it, can I just say that I just know it? Yeah. I will add that one of the experiences that we did together and that we do as well, I help train people to go into those levels within themselves is when Christine was talking about the two hour session with me, it included an element, a deep element of the breath work of breath work. It was actually a rebirthing breath work technique, conscious connected breathing, cycled breathing, um, through your mouth, in and out through your mouth, and it brings you through the layers. So she, you were able to relinquish um, those things that were being, you know, uh, core trauma in your cells, mm -hmm. and then create healthy cells as well. And you're, I just, ah, I just so amazing. <laughs> I, I remember when you told me that it was just like, just yes, I believe it. Right, this is how this work works. So. Very beautiful. I'm so excited all oh, for you in the future and there your lungs keep going. So um, may I ask what in what way was working with me different than what you previously experienced? It's all different. <laughs> it's, oh. um, you are like a, a psychologist, <laughs> a mentor, a friend, um, an intuitive, um, a channeler, all those things. Uh, rolled into one and um, all together it's far more beneficial to me than any therapy I've ever had um, and, and the biggest gift Colleen is is that you've taught me to do that myself I mean I've had a lot of help but you know you've taught me how to do that for me and that's yeah. that's pretty wonderful that is actually the, that's the key. That's the key nugget. Like we, when we begin, we start with where you're at and, yeah. uh, you know, you learn through experiencing that's it. That's what learning is. So you got to learn 
how, you know, through healing, through the transformation. And, you know, I know the people listening would know that. Um, and then you become doing the work. So that is really what the program is about. It's about guiding you to teach your, to show yourself and teach yourself all of these things that you can do on your own um, so that you're a sovereign being and you're self-guided, reliant. Yeah, with heart. So thank you. Woo, way to go, girl. And um, just a, a couple more thoughts here. What would you tell someone who's considering investing in working with myself inside the program, Crystallize Your Vision, or even in a one-to-one -one specialty session? Um, either would be so beneficial for anybody, anybody looking for clarity, suffering a health condition, uh, trauma, loss, grief, um, just even a transition in life. Um, I, it's been the best money I've ever spent. Hands uh, down. Yeah. Was that ha hands down, did you say? Hands, hands down. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. I know that's a good feeling when you know your investment paid off and continues to pay off. Um, would you recommend crystallize your vision to others? And if so, who would this program, who would the program, like if you kind of leans off what you said, I think you said it'd be good for anybody, but who do you think um, the program's a good match for? Is it um, moms? Is it the entrepreneur? Is it any, any human? Like what's your take on it? I think it's, I think it is for any human, but um, specifically anybody who's um, on their awakening journey. Yeah. Um, an entrepreneur. Absolutely. Um, anybody suffering grief and loss. Um, anybody suffering big health challenges, even smaller ones. Okay. Um, moms. Absolutely. Um, my kids are the most important people in the world to me, yeah. you know, but you do lose yourself in being a mom. Yeah. Um, you certainly, there's, there's lots that you gain. Don't get me wrong. It's, I don't regret it for one second, but you do lose you or you can lose you. And, um, you know, when you come out the other side, when they're ready to go or they have gone, yeah. um, I mean, it's so cliche, but you're literally going, what now? What now? You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it gives you you back in a way yeah. that is, is meaningful. And, um, you know, it's, it's not that she was never there. She just got covered up lost a little bit yeah. yeah yeah that beautiful soul she just got a little bit behind herself and so this helped um yeah. kind of part the shades and open you know light up the sky and come out from behind the clouds and yeah. sort of find your own way yeah it's beautiful well christine it's been an absolute honor and pleasure to be here with you today and I know that anyone listening to this interview can feel your heart and your wowed <laughs> you know shift in your vibe um they've seen you in the beginning days so thank you so much for taking the time to share here and anyone here if uh oh Christine is there something else you would let me back up is there anything else that you would like to add um, of your own accord that you were thinking about sharing for someone who would be considering being in the program? Nothing other than if you're on the fence, do it. Take the leap. It's scary. Um, it's scary to dive into that part of yourself. Um, or, or maybe scary is not the right word, maybe daunting. Um, it's, not, it's not easy work, yeah. but it's so rewarding so rewarding and just um the things that you learn along the way that you come out with in the end I, there is no end let's just say that um are are just gifts that are almost immeasurable so if you're on the fence do it um take the leap yeah invest in yourself invest in your freedom your vulner allow your vulnerability to shine yeah. and allow your truth to illuminate the sky absolutely yeah yeah it's heart work 
heart, heart, hard work. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, uh, well, you are riding the ride and the wave and I'm um, so blessed to have had you here today. So thank you for, for joining the call. Um, and for those of you who stayed here to the end of the interview, thank you for your time and patience. And uh, I trust and hope that for your highest well-being, something Christine shared touched your heart. And it's been an honor to be with you today. And if you'd like to connect with me, certainly there will be, you know, there's links and uh, wherever you see this video, you can reach out to me and let's do an exploration call together just to find out a little bit more about your greatest uh, challenge or struggle and what you would like to create in your life. So thank you very much. Thanks again, Christine. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Love you lots, girl. Love you lots. <laughs>